Hey everyone, how are you doing? Every now and again I like to do a video which isn't pure Elementor, but it's more about WordPress or WooCommerce to help some of you out there. Now with WooCommerce, one of the problems that people have is with regards to accounting or bookkeeping. So you're taking loads of orders in, but if you're filling in your tax records and you have to prove what your income or outgoings or things like that are, having tax records from WooCommerce in terms of sales can be very, very important. And I'll tell you why. If you go to WooCommerce on your website, okay, and you go to the settings, well not settings, the reports, you can export a report that's gonna show you your number of sales for the year, last month, this month, or whatever date you pick. And you can export a CSV file. This is a fake website, so don't sit there going, you got zero sales, this is a fake test website where I build stuff on. Now when you hit export CSV, it will export it for you as an Excel file. But here's the problem, this is what you're gonna get. If there were values in here, you would have had values. But basically, for every month of the current year, um, it's just going to tell you items sold and etc. and things like that, sales amount, right? It's not great for bookkeeping because it's not broken down by the individual person or company that's purchased from you. You could, of course, go to your orders in WooCommerce and then manually do that one by one or copy it and dump it into Excel and then have to mess around with the format, which again is going to take quite a bit of time because it's not user friendly. But there is a free and easy way to sort this out and I'm going to show you how. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, share, subscribe and follow because we love having you. Now, the plugin I want to talk about is this one. It's called WooCommerce Accounting Report, okay? Now, this is free. Okay, go on to the plugins, WooCommerce Accounting Report. It's totally free, download it. And what it's going to do is it's gonna give you a few new settings. So WooCommerce Accounting Report, you can't miss it. There's only one of them on there. Once you've installed it, you will now have a new setting in WooCommerce. When you go to settings, which is normal in WooCommerce, you're now gonna have Accounting Report. And I would just leave these all as they are. I wouldn't remove or take anything out. You can decide though that, you know, do you want to just, do you want to show items that are completed or have been paid? I would want to go for ones that are paid just because I, they're the only ones I want to really prove back to my accountant or whatever. So that's what you do. Now, when you go to your reports and you export the CSV, you're going to get a totally different looking file. You're going to get something like this. Now I have Obviously, um, this is taken from another website where there are some sales and I have like messed around with the values for confidentiality, of course. You're going to have the date, the order number. You will have the full name of whoever's bought it, the country they were in, that they pay by PayPal, Stripe, PayFast, whatever system you got in place. The currency, so pounds, euros, dollars, whatever it was. What was the amount? What was the tax amount? Um, shipping costs if there were any and what's the final amount so you're now gonna get what it won't do obviously it's not telling you the product they purchased okay so it has got a little bit of a limitation but if I was to go back over here to the settings okay and I type in like here product you're not gonna get it okay so there is a limitation to it however I'm a little bit like I'm not overly fussed by that I have to be honest I'm not overly fussed by that it was more to do with would you rather have a, in, a report for your sales that look like that without telling you who? It just says, oh, you had you sold 10 items in January. Well, big deal. Whereas here, you now get the breakdown of who that, well, there weren't 10, there's two in January, who the two were and what the individual cost was. So from a bookkeeping point of view, this is going to help you out a lot more than what you originally get. So remember, this plugin What's the WooCommerce accounting report? I'm not affiliated to them. They're in the plugins. Go and have fun. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.